All right, thanks for coming. My name is Andrew Goville. I am the Director of Communications and Public Affairs here at Hartsfield Jackson. You will hear from Mr. Robert Spinton, who is the FSD for the TSA. He'll explain what the acronyms mean in just a second. The Air Atlanta Airport Police Commander, um, Major Reginald Mormon will speak, and so too will our Fire Chief here, Fire Chief Michael Winfrey. As you're all aware, at 1.30 we had an incident here at the airport where a gun, a weapon, accidentally discharged as someone was going through the security line. Mr. Spindon will speak about that. We started to get information in within moments. Uh, by 2 o'clock, we had sent out a tweet recognizing and confirming that there was an incident that was ongoing. We did our level best to communicate this incident to the public to make sure they were aware of what was happening. Just before 3 o'clock, we were given the all clear for the airport to begin operations once again. The airport did not close down. Hartsfield Jackson does not close. We maintained operations at all time. The FAA did institute a ground stop, and I'll let you contact the FAA to talk about what that meant and what specifically that impacted the rest of the um, flight uh, area as well. What we will do is we will allow these gentlemen to speak for just a moment. Once they are done, they'll step to the side, and then we'll open it up for some brief questions. For now, Mr. Robert Spindon from the TSA. Good evening. My name is Robert Spinden, S-P-I-N-D-E-N. -E I'm the TSA Federal Security Director for the state of Georgia. Today, at approximately 1.30 p.m., a passenger submitted his accessible property for x-ray screening at our main security checkpoint. During the screening process, a prohibited item was detected inside of his property, which was subsequently flagged for a secondary search. During that secondary search, the passenger lunged into his property grabbing a firearm that was located inside, which ultimately discharged. The passenger then fled the security checkpoint through an adjacent exit lane with his firearm. We're fortunate that when the firearm went off, nobody was seriously injured. A uh, short time later, Atlanta police had secured the scene and given us an all clear, at which point we resumed normal operations at the airport and within a few hours had cleared out all of the passengers waiting outside of our security checkpoints. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Major Reginald Mormon, commander of the airport section for the City of Atlanta Police Department, M-O-O-R-M-A-N. Today around 1.30, uh, we responded to an accidental discharge um, at one of the main checkpoints here at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Uh, once we responded, uh, we were able to conduct an investigation as to uh, what happened at that checkpoint. We determined that, um, that if someone who was going through the checkpoint uh, submitted their, their luggage to TSA and uh, there was an accidental uh, discharge of that firearm. No one was injured. Um, we were able to address that particular incident as well as uh, people evacuating, self-evacuating from the airport. So uh, my team, they focus on crowd control as well as uh, traffic control and uh, partnering with our uh, partners here, TSA, as well as fire here at the airport to uh, deal with this uh, situation. Uh, based on the investigation, we have identified the suspect it's Kenny Wells, uh, 42 years old. We have taken out warrants for carrying a concealed weapon at a commercial airport, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, discharging a firearm, and reckless conduct. Uh, we are actively pursuing this individual as we speak. Um, and of course, once we uh, conducted our, our investigation here, at the airport, uh, we was able to give the all, all clear and return back to normal operations. Thank you. I'm the Deputy Chief of Airport Operations here at Hartsfield uh, Airport. Um, Atlanta Fire assisted with the evacuation today uh, during the incident. Uh, there were a report of three injuries, but none were associated with the self-evacuation. Uh, we provide the service to those in need and um, uh, help to return the airport back to normal business continuity. And that is all from us. Thank you. So 
So again, as I said, we'll open it up for questions right now. Um, Want to make sure that you guys get that. There were three reported injuries associated with this. Uh, Chief Winfrey could talk a little bit about that as well, but I know that there are some social media reports out there saying that there were some other issues. We have three right now. There was one person, one person who was transported, if I'm not mistaken, as well, Chief. That's correct. Okay, good. I would imagine everybody now wants to talk about the suspect, so I'm going to bring Major Mormon on up here, and he'll be able to address any questions that you may have. Uh, what do you have? You mentioned.